What is up everyone? It's Innovation YGL here bringing you guys another video today and in today's video I'm going to be talking about Mac Knight Explained. Originally named Jack Knight in the OCG. I love that name change by the way. And in this video I'm pretty much going to read over the cards, give my thoughts and opinions on them and tell you guys how I feel that will be implemented in today's meta. But before I get to the actual video I'm going to ask you guys to hit that like button and show some support to the channel. Let's try to get today's video up to 200 likes. That'd be awesome. And also drop a comment to show support because it really does help boost the channel out a lot. So outside of just I'm um, going over the cars and talking about how they will be using today's meta because as you guys already know, the Mac Knight slash Jack Knight in the OCG is pretty much a decent deck. pre band the most recent OCG ban list, this deck was pretty much topping every other event. Kind of like a roguish tier 2, tier 1.5 deck. And this deck is the first column based arch type so with that being said it does implement what konami was trying to go for in the near future all right so yeah at towards the end of the video after i go over all the cards and get my thoughts on them i'm going to show you guys a deck list from the lcg that topped so this is mac knight explained first up mac knight in the sewer blue there are two or more cards in the same column you can put some of this card to that column you can only spend some of one jack knight of the blue, blue once per turn once per turn, quick effect. You can target one Jack Knight monster you control, move that monster you control to another one of your main monster zones. Now, the reason why I like this card effect is simply due to the fact that not only do you special summon from your hand, you got two more cards in the same column, i.e. if your opponent has a set face down and you have a set face down and they're in the same column, you can bring them out. Pretty simple. He's a beater, 2400 attack. There's nothing to love about him. I mean, there's everything to love about him. Um, the moving part is okay. You probably want to run as a one of, if not at all, because the red the deck is actually pretty solid for what they do. Next up, Mech Knight of the Blue Sky. With two or more cards in the same column, you can special summon this card from, from your hand to that column. You can only special summon Mech Knight of the Blue Sky once per turn. If this card is normal, special summon from the hand, you can add one Mech Knight monster with a different name. Except Mike Knight, Blue Sky from your hand to the deck, each number of your opponent's cards in this card's column. You're going to spend some of this effect on Mike Knight, Blue Sky, once per turn. So, essentially, if your opponent goes set one, set one, the same column, you can bring them out. Or, if you line the columns up with your cards, you can bring them out. He's really good, but if your opponent does do the old play a monster, set one in the same column, you can add two tutors. So, essentially, he kind of mind games the opponent forcing the opponent to really think about what they're going to do. I definitely predict a lot of people getting rule sharked at big events for his specific effects. So I really like this card a lot and definitely probably going to be a three of them in the deck of the tutors. Next up, Mech Knight of the Crimson Lotus. There are two or more cards in the same column. You can special summon this card from your hand to that column. You can only special summon Jack Knight of the Crimson Lotus once per turn this way. You can banish one Jack Knight monster from your graveyard and target one face of monster field in this card's column and destroy it. Now, this is definitely a one-up for the deck. Um, I can definitely see it um, being used here and there. You bring them out, then you can special summon one Jack Knight monster this way. Then when you banish one out of the graveyard, you can blow up a card in the same column. It's like, it's good, but it's not that good. You feel me? So, it's like definitely a one-up, maybe side deck. I don't really think it's that great. Mech Knight of the Flickering Frame. If two or more cards in the same column, you can special summon this card from your hand to that column. You're going to special summon Jack Knight of Flickering Frame once per turn this way. If an opponent's card in this card's column is destroyed by battle or leaves the field, you can special summon one Jack Knight monster from your hand. Now, this is good for the OTKs. The only issue is um, he's a weak attack, 800. Really ain't doing nothing. He's really good for tribute fodder, though, so that's something to think about. Um, yeah, it's just not that good. But a 3,000 beater in the defense is kind of good, right? Next up, Mech Knight of the Green Lights. Now, this card is pretty good for my remember. He kind of looks like um, a Stellar Knight, which is really funny. Um, if there are two or more cards in the same column, you can special summon this card from your hand to that column. You can only special summon Jack Knight of the Green Lights once per turn this way. When this card declares an attack on an opponent's monster in the same column, you can target one Jack Knight monster in your graveyard and add it to your hand. This is definitely good. Run it as two of, maybe one of. Um, tutoring things out of the graveyard is really great because it helps re recycle your deck. Usually when cards like this are ran, they ran as like a two over one of. Twin orange attack is not that good, but when honest, you can make anything possible. Next up, Mech Knight of the Purple Dust. There are two more cards in the same column. You can special summon this card from your hand to that column. You can only special summon the Jack Knight of the Purple Dust once per turn this way. Quick effect. You can target one Jack Monster you control, banish it until the end of your next standby phase, and if you do, add one Jack Knight Monster to your deck to your hand, except Jack Knight. So that's pretty good. Um, 
2500 beater, high stars, make some good XYZ plays with that. And you can also add from your deck, I really like cards that tutor, and it's a quick effect, so if your opponent trying to target one of your cards, you can banish it. To, it's just really good. This is definitely the sauce, but it's definitely a one of. Next up, Mac Knight of the Yellow Bloom. Two or more cards in the same column. You can special summon this card from your hand to that column. You can only special summon one Jack Knight of the Yellow Bloom once per turn this way. You can banish one Jack Knight monster in your graveyard and target one spell trap card in the field to this card's column and destroy it. So, special summon him once per turn. You can banish one by your graveyard, target a spell and trap and destroy his column. Yeah, it's okay. I like the attack power, but it's just okay at best. Maybe a one of, if anything. Next up. And so we're going to get to the, um, the Spell and Trap cards now. And there's not really much of them to go over, so we're just going to talk about them to see what they do. Key to the World Legacy. When this card is activated, you can target one of your Banished Mech Knight monsters or World Legacy cards. Add it to your hand when an opponent's trap card or effect is activated in the same column as a Magnum monster you control. You get to the back. Now, this is pretty good. Um, looking over to some of the, at the deck list I looked at, they didn't run it, which is I thought it was kind of odd. I guess it's easy to play around because people just obviously won't play things in the same column. But adding banish cards back to your hand is pretty solid. I mean, I think it's solid. I think when it comes to the TCG, people will test it out. Maybe, maybe not. We'll find out the same clues as the LCG players. Only time will tell. But I do know for the TCG, we usually figure out our own ways to play versus the LCG. And sometimes OCG copy us, so that's neither here or there. Next up, World Legacy Scars. Now, this is the one of the um, hyped cards out of the set. All Mech Knight monsters in the field gain 300 attack and defense. Once per turn, you're going to scar one Mech Knight monster or one World Legacy card. Draw one card. Anything that draws is going to be pretty good. You can banish eight Mech Knight monsters with a different name here, graveyard, and or fits on the field to send your opponent's entire hand deck to the field to the graveyard. That part more than likely would never happen, but with that being said, honestly, it's really funny if it ever happens. If you resolve it, it should be GG, no re. But yeah, Matt, it's definitely solid. You should definitely run at least two of in a deck. But um, no more than that. I mean, anything that draws is going to be good. The last effect is just a bonus. Um, yeah, it, it can happen, but I don't realistically see it happening all too often. Definitely at locals and regionals. Maybe even at a YCS. Like, imagine that happening in the YCS finals. That'd be hilarious. Next up, True Depths of the World Legacy. Now, this card is ran from the deck list I looked at. When this card is activated, you can target one level 5 or higher monster in your graveyard special summon it. When this card leaves the field, destroy that monster. When an opponent's monster effect is activated in the same column as the Magnet Monster Control, you get that effect. Pretty much a call behind it for the deck, with the addition of the added bonus of just um, negating and destroying. It's really good because, especially against Pendulum, that's like Pendulum Magicians, since Pendulum cards are on a field now and they're considered in the same columns, if you set this in the same column as a Pendulum card, you can do some heavy damage. It's really good. Next up, Whispers of the World Legacy. When this card is activated, you can target one level five or higher monster on the field. You gain 1,000 attack and 1,000 defense until the end of this turn. Even if this card is the field, when an opponent's spell or effect activated in the same column as the Magnet Monster Control, you can get that effect. Now, this part is really good, mainly because it boosts for 1,000 attack power, which is good, but it's also good because boosting, as you guys already know, can be activated during a damage step, which is awesome. And then anything in the gates is pretty solid as well. So that's the last card I'm going to talk about as far as the Mech Knights. I'm going to see you guys into the deck list on the YG organization, so stay tuned. Okay, so after looking at the deck list real fast, I definitely um missed missed one card, so I'm going to go over it really quick. It's the Mech Knight Spectrum Supreme, so I apologize for that. You guys probably just left the video thumbs down like, this is freaking scrub, left the, messed it up. Okay, so this guy, awesome stats, 3,000 attack, link 3, which is pretty easy to bring out, especially in this deck. And it gives you three columns to play with. So his effect pretty much read to a Magnite Monster more. When there are no cards, other cards in the same column as this card, it can attack directly. That's pretty solid. If this card is in an extra monster zone, does not point to a monster, it cannot be sure of battle. By card effects, also your opponent cannot target it with card effects. You can send one of the cards you control in this card's column to the graveyard, so some of one Magnite Monster in your deck in a fence position. You can only use the effect of Magnite World Scars once per turn. This card is definitely broken. It's probably what breaks the deck. Um, only time will tell. But overall, the deck um, that I'm going to show you guys right here from the OCG runs it as a runs it as a one of. Give me one moment. To scroll down here really fast. See, it runs it as one of. It's really good. But let's go over this deck list really fast, guys. I'm not trying to keep you guys for too long. So the deck runs Jimmy Lazuli, Drolin Lockbird. So this is not. The standard, this is pretty much what the standard deck looks like in the LCG. 
obviously you guys can play with the ratios and see how you guys want to go about it in the near future for your um for your own personal bills around Phantom my sky blaster which is a card that's pretty good you guys have forgot what the card does um it makes tokens which allows you to which was um, one of those cards that was predicted to be a heavy hitter once the link format was cons was um announced pretty much we normally summon him he special summons tokens etc really solid for the deck um and then it runs gamma seal lotus gofu of course water spirit this card is freaking freaking funny it's a normal monster 400 attack they run it because it's a tuner i'm assuming and then um yeah that's pretty much it on the deck list it's really standard from what I, then instant fusions brilliant fusions the whole shebang like i said it doesn't really run any of the spells and traps in the deck but it does run the um the depths of the royal legacy which is the one that specimens out of the graveyard which in any case people are going to love recursion which is always a good thing and then link extra deck is seeming to be standard and then they're going to go from there so yeah pretty much copy these cards and you guys can be good to go what is the millennium kai card that does let me go over this real fast so they do they do run the instant fusion so you can bring this out with instant fusion once per turn monster activates an effect quick effect you can target one effect monster your opponent controls on a graveyard with the cards to target against tacky with the defense oh that's pretty solid i like that i like that all right guys so this is my mech explain video hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said hit that like button if you guys did subscribe if you hadn't this if you haven't already this is innovation ygl and i'm signing out peace and stay innovative deuces